Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick now. I'm about to pray for the sick. We have to hurry up. Now. If you came here with someone who is sick. Or you are sick yourself. Listen please. I want you to lay your hands right now. But the Lord is speaking to me. If you have any heart condition. Please listen. Heart condition. I want you to come out. The remaining people, you can just lay your hands. I'm only asking for people with heart conditions that has been medically verified. Not pain in the chest. Heart condition. Please come. For the remaining people, lay your hands everywhere. All the overflows, Koinonia Global. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. Heart condition. Heart condition. Medically verified. Please come. If you're coming, make it quick. I want to pray for you. Then we'll pray for the rest. The Lord just gave me that word. If your loved one has a heart condition, you don't have to come out. You can just stand there for them. I mean those who have it, you are the patient yourself, so to speak. Please come. Come. Glory. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. My goodness i remember tl osborne men like tl osborne not just in india but several parts of the world they would stand with childlike faith and tell tens of thousands of people on a crusade ground that jesus was going to touch them whether the people believed or not i do not know but they would return with dramatic testimonies come and worthy to be praised you're the Lamb upon the throne And unto you We lift our voice in praise You're the Lamb upon the throne Hallelujah. Place your hand and let me pray for you. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that medical science tells us that cardiovascular conditions are some of the major reasons why people die? Cardiac problems. You see, situations that they do not know the cause. I want to pray for you. Lay your hands. God instructed me to pray for you. Maybe one of these days we will have, maybe if God grants us grace, we can just have a special healing time maybe on a saturday we'll just allow people who are sick to come and really take the time to minister to people honestly 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 my dear something is happening to you young lady look at me you something is happening to you now as i'm speaking i'm seeing like light come in place your hand on your chest I don't know what is your heart problem, but in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing something happening to you in the name that is above all names. Death. The Bible says the fourth man upon a pale horse, having a pair of balances, his name is death. Father, I pray for everyone here with heart conditions of all sorts, I'm not a medical person, but I believe in the great physician. And in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Whatever is the cause, and no matter how long it has been, in Jesus' name, because you came here, number one, you will not die. I rebuke the spirit of death. Help him. Out of him now. Out of him now. I rebuke the spirit of death of them now it may manifest as heart problem but it's the spirit of death 
I say it again. The spirit of death. Leave God's people now. I'm seeing something that looks like a vulture. Just lifting from someone. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. The spirit of death, I curse you by God. Be healed now. Mama, be healed. My brother, be healed. No matter what the medical condition is, you'll be healed with proof. Beginning from now, be healed. I don't want you to come out, but I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me a woman. You've lost one of your breasts to cancer. And right now, there is, it looks like it has spread to the other one. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, you've lost one of your breasts to cancer. Cancer. In the name of Jesus. And it looks like it's spread to the other one. Be healed right now. All of you who have come here, you return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name. Please place your hand very quickly. I want to pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, shout a believing amen. amen. You gave us the power over unclean spirits and power over sicknesses and infirmities. Your people are gathered tonight in their thousands, tens of thousands of people crying to experience your healing power father in the name of jesus i'm praying right now everyone in this auditorium all the overflows outside and the many who are following online in the name that is above all names the spirit of infirmity remember in luke 13 the bible says that woman was bound the lord showed me a lady i didn't get to pray for the lady and the lord is reminding me this is a manifestation of a spirit of insanity. Anyway, in the name that is above all names, I'm praying right now. Every spirit that is behind any sickness, no matter what it is called, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. To leave you now. To leave you now. To leave you now now in the name of Jesus Christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now eye problems be healed now now hear me I'm going to pray for people right now and we're going to take testimonies here right now I'm, I'm praying for you. Some of you, out of all the ministrations that happened, the power of God has taught you. Remember, the sent word, light from scripture, prophetic instructions, prophetic declarations. I'm praying for you right now. Hallelujah. As I rebuke the various illnesses as God will reveal them to me, whether or not I mention them, while I pray, I want you to do what you could not do before. If you came on a stretcher, you could not stand, stand now. If you came on a stretcher, you are holding a crutch or whatever, you could not walk, walk now. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let healing from heaven rest upon you now. Heart problems be healed now. Migraine problems be gone now. Joint pain, severe joint pain be healed now. Someone with severe pain around your wrist, I command it to give way now. The Lord is showing me a woman, you came here, even to climb up to come here, it took you a while. But right now, while you are here, the power of God is touching you right now. Ear conditions be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. I prayed earlier on for a lady with a, a, a tingling, shocking sensation around your molars. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again for healing in that area. Any representation of issues of blood, be healed right now. I cause prostate cancer in the name of Jesus. 
I say it again. I cause prostate cancer. I cause prostate cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone you've been having a severe case of pile. Pile. You are not able to go and use the restroom conveniently. Severe pain. Sometimes pain you even bleed. The power of God is touching you right now. The Lord is healing someone's left eye. You are unable to see well with it. I'm not sure you are completely blind. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Pain around your rib. Very severe pain around your rib. You've gone to do an x-ray and they did not find anything yet. The pain persists. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have severe pain under your feet, literally under. And that pain is excruciating. Even when you lie down and sleep, when you get up, you have a lot of pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Someone you have something that looks like some growth. I'm not sure it's a boil, but it's like a projection around your armpit area. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Now, whether I mentioned your case or not, back pain be healed. Back pain be healed. Someone, you have some things coming out of your body. It looks like measles, but it's not measles. Be healed right now. Blood conditions of all sorts be healed. Joint pains be healed. For someone, you will need to test yourself. You came here with severely high blood pressure. Very high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, as I'm praying for you, it goes down right now. It goes down right now. Now, the Lord is asking me to pray for someone. I think you have some respiratory problem. People snore, but yours is a very severe case of snoring. Even if you sit down, you sit down and once you just try to fall asleep, you will start snoring. Heavy snoring. This thing has embarrassed you. I'm praying for you. Whatever it is that is wrong with your entire respiratory tract, be healed from it now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, and that includes those connecting from several hospitals, clinics, homes across the globe, let the healing power of Jesus flow through the airwaves and touch you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now here's what I want you to do for only 10 minutes. We're not going to have the time to take all of the testimonies. But for only 10 minutes while we prepare the prayer request. If the power of God has touched you, I want you to check yourself right now. I want to receive one or two testimonies here, whether here or online. I want you to check yourself, those outside, those inside. The moment you see that the power of God has touched you, don't sit back. Make your way to the front very quickly. Some of you may need to check with the medical stand. I want you to very quickly check yourself and then let's have one or two testimonies here as quick as we can. In the name of Jesus. While that is happening, please bring out your prayer requests. Write your prayer request. Let me give you a minute very quickly. We are still waiting to receive testimonies. Don't sit back. There are testimonies. Please make your way to the front very quickly. Check yourself. You came under the power of God. And God has done a miracle for you. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Celebrate them. They are coming. God is giving witness to his word. For those who are in the overflow outside or any of the overflows, please make your way quickly. It will be based on first come, first serve. So we'll take a few people. You have a testimony. Check yourself. Some pain that was there, now is no longer there. A miracle has happened. Please make your way very quickly to the front. While that is happening, please write your requests. Koinonia Global, particularly for those who are here, write your requests. We'll take one or two testimonies very quickly and then we'll be praying over the request let's celebrate those who are coming to testify please if they are coming from outside to testify allow them come in very quickly let's just take a few testimonies and then for those of you who need to verify your conditions with the medical stand or you need to go to a hospital please do so you are always at liberty to testify let's take one or two testimonies and um 
Ushers, let's be very, very fast. If you are yet to submit your request, please just wave it where you are. Then you can pass it to the person at your left or right. So that it makes it easy for the ushers to pick it up. Hallelujah. Let's give one more minute for those who are coming for testimonies. God bless you. If you are coming for a testimony, we'll take one or two testimonies. It's important we give witness to what God has done. Hallelujah. Okay. If you're ready with any of them, let's just hear one or two testimonies. And then very quickly, I'm hoping that we're able to finish very quickly and on time. Please, ushers, there are people who, if they are here to receive your request, don't worry. Just take it easy. Pass it to the person at your left and right. The extreme left or the extreme right. So it makes it easy for the ushers to collect. Hallelujah. Okay, let's hear the testimony of the lady and a few of them. If you are coming to testify, please come. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the first time I'm going to have instant healing. In fact, I'm very happy. This, I've been having this neck pain for like a week or more. It has been coming and going. Neck thought, pain? Yes, I thought it's pillow fall, like maybe because of the way I'm sleeping. But immediately you said we should lay our hands on the neck, the first word of knowledge. Yes. I just felt this cold sensation and everything just disappeared and now the neck I Check yourself. For the pain. Completely. I've been looking for the pain since it's not You will there. never find it again, eh? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you, perfect your testimony Amen. in Jesus' name. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. Yes. I'm very happy to be here. I left Ghana since on Thursday. I've been desiring to come here, but anytime I want to come here, something will always happen not be able to come. I have a problem with my leg. When I sit down for long, when I get out, I'll not be able to walk. But I left Ghana since on Thursday. I came here, my leg, I could not, I didn't even know I attend the service. But now I'm okay. Run. Look at this. How long has this been? Huh? Yes, the pain has been there. Place your hand there. It will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate what God has done in the life of this woman. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of those having migraine. He said he came here with the migraine and he has never been this free. But immediately you made that declaration. Migraine. Migraine. Two How years. How long has it been? Two, Two years. years. In the name of Jesus Christ, place your hand on your head. And it this will, other person too, three years migraine. Migraine too. Yes, in Jesus' name, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, go ahead. You gave a word of knowledge of someone who cannot chew. She said she has had this pain in her two sides of her mouth for six months. That she could not open her mouth wide. But immediately you gave that declaration, the pain disappeared. It's gone and she completely. could open her mouth very wide. In the name of Jesus, my dear, you return with your testimony. It will never reoccur again in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge regarding someone with pain in the molar. Okay, yes. The molar pain. Actually, for the past three years, I can't really chew very well around my... For the past three years? Three years, yes. I have been having pains around my molars. Okay. Now it's gone. Completely. Yes. You are sure? Yes, sir. You can chew now? Yes, I can. In Jesus' name, it will never return to you again. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Okay, so see, similar case here. Yeah, good evening, Apostle. Good evening, Church. So last year, my molar started having like sharp sensations. Anytime I drink water, normal water, hot water, I will feel the sensation. So when you were speaking today, I just tried to drink, take a drink of water to see if the sensation is still there and it's yes. all gone. Completely. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I'm having this knee pain. The knee pain will come and go, but this morning when I was going to church, I'm still feeling the pains in my knee. But when daddy was praying, and I saw somebody like a man in the sky, though the face is not clear, and I'm feeling my body as if something is moving in my whole body, but now the knee pain is gone. Completely. Yes. Which of the knees? Go ahead and bend it. Any pain? No, sir. Any pain? Walk. No. Any pain? Koinonia, let's celebrate miracles. Amazing. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Yes, please. I posted several healings here of yes. pain, pain in the leg. That's so, under her feet. That sometimes she limps walking. Okay, how long has this been? For like four months or more than. And right now? The pain is gone. Even when I sleep, I woke up in the morning, I have to drag the leg. So if I keep it on a hard surface, I'll feel pain. But right now, over there, I was hitting the leg on the tiles. I was feeling normal. And it's gone. Anything. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will Amen. never return to you again. Amen. God bless you. Yes, Another please. one with pain in the leg and an itching here. She even came here with her drugs. How pain long in has the it back. been? Let us speak. 2019. 2019. Yes, what sir. happened? Just aches in my back. I even thought it was the chair in my office. Even when I came in from Benway yesterday, throughout the ride, I was having you came in all the pain. way from Benway. Yes, I was having serious pain in my back. I had to rest throughout till this morning, but and now, now it's gone. It's gone forever. Yes. In the name of Jesus, let's celebrate Jesus. Go ahead. Pain in the pain in her back, pain in her neck region, and you mentioned those that see serpent. I mean, under serpentine spirit. She said she normally sees serpent. Where always. I'm from National State. Okay. You have dreams or what happens to you? Always. I perceive it and I see dream. In fact, the day before yesterday, I saw a serpent in my dream. Somebody helped me to kill it. And I was packing the particles. Okay. Always seeing it. In, inside the bedroom, always. You'll be in the bedroom and see it? Yes. What I perceive it like I'll be seeing it. I separate you from every... Amen. That's your daughter? In the name of Jesus, huh? this little girl will never go through what you've gone through. And in the mighty name of Jesus, you are free from this satanic thing forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Amen and amen. Okay, yes, sir. All right, sir. Good evening. So, on 2022, I have these issues. The doctor said I could not see with my left eyes. You could like, not see? Yes, okay. I have a scar in the left eye. So, I've been taking medications and stuff. So, when you mentioned my case, I now prayed and laid my hands there. And then I opened, I could see everything. Clearly. You could see everything now? Yes. Which of the eyes? Left eyes. Close the one that you could see with before. Walk. Just go to the cameraman. Go to another cameraman. Go back to where you came from. Look at this. She couldn't see with that eye. Don't cry. You see, let me tell you, many people don't know the way to appreciate miracles is to put yourself in the shoes of the person who has received it. You see, only God would know what this lady may have gone through that one eye just shuts down completely and now casually look at this imagine her family members that she goes back and says look i can see now then they test her and say where are you coming from and then you say the house of god in the name of jesus my dear the same way god has opened your other eyes let every door that has been closed be open now in jesus name we pray yes please go ahead sir So I've been having um, joint pain in my abdomen. I went to the hospital. They said it was, the first time I went, they said it was muscle tear. The next time I went, they said it was ulcer. The next time I went, they said it was um, a joint um, problem. But the thing kept paining me. I even did scan. They said nothing was there. As, of, as we were praying today, when I came, I was having that pain. But now everything has gone. Like Completely. Have, completely. It will never return to you amen. again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, please. So, Apostle, indeed, distance is not a barrier. Truly. So, um, you called the first time for people who had leg pain. And yes. then I came out for my mom. I was raising her picture. And then I went back and then you called. You, you prophesied with the word of knowledge that there was somebody who had leg pain under. And ever since I was a child, the pain would go from one leg to the other, up, down, and different points. For you or for her? For her. Okay. And then she's fully, Where is she? She's in Kaduna. She's Kaduna. following online. Okay. And then I immediately after you called, I think that was the last case you called. Mm. Immediately after you called, I sent her a text. I called her. She didn't pick. Then she called back and said, she's matching it now. She's running. There's nothing wrong. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for her. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, she had a surgery in August to, for growth remover in her side. Let her speak. My goodness. 
August last year. I did What's something. your name? My name is Choma, but let me Choma love it. Okay, go ahead. Yes, August last year, I did surgery. I had a growth in my What eye. surgery? Your eye? Yeah, my left eye. So, after the surgery, if I can't look the left If I'm looking by the left hand side, it all used to be clear. But after the administration, I'm fine. Now. Which of the eye? The left eye. Close the one that was working. Benga, move and let her follow you. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. She had a surgery. Watch this. She had a surgery on her eye. And afterwards, she couldn't see well with it. And now it's cleared. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's celebrate Jesus. Stomach pain for the past four years. Immediately you minister research, you felt something left her and the pain disappeared. In the name of Jesus, my dear, it will never return to you again. Let's celebrate how she goes. Next person, please. I used to have a pain under my foot, like for more than a week now. But right now I'm feeling no any other pain. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Let's celebrate her. God bless you. Five years pain in her teeth. Gone. Immediately teeth. you mean to say yes. That she five cannot years. Chew. Five years. I had half two cakes for about five years since I was in GS2. Father, we thank you for what you have done. In the name of Jesus, we receive her healing, very overwhelmed by the miracle. My dear, in Jesus' name, it remains permanent, perfected forever. In Jesus' name, let's celebrate her. Thank you. Movement in your body for years now. Immediately you ministered that it used to hook her, but as you ministered, something left her and then the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. As man of God thought that uh, there's uh, somebody that something is for the side like this say it's moving and so before that time I go to this uh, clinic I go and see because the thing on they call my chest like say something they hook my breathing I go there I go and meet them then do tests they say no medicine because then they ask me say that also I say no no and they say no medicine so what happened now madam I thank God the the all the, the pain. movement and the pain is gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we celebrate with you and we decree and declare that it is gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. So on the first of January this year, I opened my door and immediately I wanted to enter inside. I twisted my ankle and I've been experiencing pain since you then. twisted your ankle? Yes, my left ankle. Okay. So I was even telling my friend that I'm feeling pains on my leg. But as the prayer was going on, after the prayer I checked my leg, I was check yourself my... now. I was... Any pain? No, sir. It's gone. Pain. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name, you are perfected. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. All right, sir. A very interesting. Uh, uh, okay. Yes, Very sir. interesting testimony. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, my dear. Um, What's your name? Chidima. Okay. So when I was small, I, like we used to play with tire. So. You used to play with tire. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's let's allow her testify. Yes. Go ahead. So in the process of playing with tire with my friends when I was small. Yes. We now went to bush. And you went the, to the bush. Yes. Okay. And in, Let's allow the girl testify. Go ahead, please. So, Apostle, in the course of playing, yes, a physical snake spat in her eyes. Snake. Yes. Sir. In the bush. My God. Then my go ahead. My friends, they ran away, and I was looking for help. So my neighbor that saw me and I called her Aunt Linda. So she now rushed, she now picked me, she now said what happened. As she saw my eye was going down. This is how she was rushing and it was on Sunday. People have gone to church and my area is few people that are Muslims. So there was one woman that was around. She was washing her car, going to go to church. So this Aunt Linda, she's a Jehovah witness. She rushed me to the woman, telling her that she should please rush me to what, the... What is the issue now? So she has been having itches and pain. Okay, as a yes. result, what this, happened? You've been having this, itches? Yes, this evening, it was very severe that my sister was asking me whether I was crying. It was very rare. 
Then I was praying in that place. Then I was praying for um, this grace called favor. Then all of a sudden, the pains reduced. Then I. Then. Right now, what's then, the situation? In the course of the prayer, sir, the pain is gone. gone. It's gone. You know, sometimes it takes a lot of courage to testify. Believe me, you have to be in that position. You know you are constrained with time, but then you want to express yourself. Let's celebrate her. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus. Yes. This little girl, she had pain in her rear side. And uh, while you were ministering, she said the pain disappeared. And she told the mother that she wants to come and testify. Wow. What is your name? Benedicta. Come again. Benedicta. Benedicta. How old are you? Six. Six. Brilliant six-year-old girl. May God bless you. Where? So what happened to you, my dear? My rib side. If I want to sit down, the thing will pain me. And then now? He has gone. Gone completely. Let's bless the Lord for Benedicta. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. May you grow in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Please. So, I've invited doctor here because he's shaking his head. That means he's in shock. So, okay, what happened? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, um, Daddy, um, this child, he has a medical condition we call strabismus. In other words, um, his eyeballs don't move in synchrony. One moves independently of the other. So, when he tries to look to the left, the other one usually doesn't follow. So you find one eyeball going to the other direction, the other eyeball going to the other direction. Yes. That's one. Then secondly, he's also short-sighted. In other words, he can't see objects from afar. Mm. So we just checked. I was just doing some tests behind and I can confirm without certainty that he can actually see objects from afar. Amazing. Can you see me? Can you see me? Yes. What else can you see? Tell me what else you can see. I can see the board above you with five blue stars on the board. Look at this. Can you imagine? Some of you cannot even see it. I'm telling you, some of you can't see it. Wow. So can you read what is written on top of that keyboard? What else can you see? Tell me one more thing you can see. I can't see that clearly. One more thing you can see. Anything. Allow him. Tell us anything. Look around. One thing you can see that you couldn't see before. Up there. What Chida can you see? Ch Chida Event Center. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found Babylon I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that Babylon In the name of Jesus, what's your name? Namdi. Namdi, we decree and declare perfection for you. Amen. May you grow in wisdom, in Amen. stature, in favor with God and with men. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Amazing. Right, sir. So, sir, yes. we have a few testimonies. On okay, very quickly. Apostle, let's have, have all the requests. Please make sure we have all the prayer requests here. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, we have testimonies from Silas from Ontario, Canada. Okay. That you mentioned this case of excessive snoring. And that sometimes just sitting down peacefully, he hears himself snore. Though by, but right now, he cannot hear himself anymore. Praise this the Lord. is from Canada. Praise the Lord. This is from our sister Blessing from the UK. She says she has heart palpitation, heart palpitation, and her heart beats so fast. Mm -hmm. Even now, she's preparing for exams. The same thing is happening. But right now, she has tested herself, and she doesn't feel that anymore. This is from our sister Grace Conga from Tanzania. She says, I have a testimony and I've had difficulty in breathing. Okay. But right now, she's breathing it's well and she's fine. Amen. This is from Sam Ken. He says, you mentioned the case of Pyle and that he has checked. He, has, he usually goes to the toilet and 
and releases blood. Yes. But uh, right now, he's totally healed. The, the pile has gone back in and is perfectly well. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, let's have that as a final one. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Okay, I just want to thank God. While I was sitting down there, I was having um, pain, abdominal pain. But right now, the pain is gone. Completely gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Now, because we are constrained by time, sometimes we have to rush the people. A miracle service is really requires a lot of time to be able to minister to people. And um, we're trying to work with the time. It's our goal to try to see how as much as possible we manage the time, particularly because of the security situation around. So um, my apologies to those who perhaps were not allowed to come in to testify. Every week is an opportunity for you to testify and then you can meet our media people or our PR people and you can register your testimony. And um, we're always glad to know what the Lord is doing in your life. Let me request that we all rise, please, and then stretch. In fact, let me do this. Um, let me take the altar call before we pray. I want you to come out if you need Jesus. There's no need cajoling. Please play the sounds for me. You need Jesus. And I want to invite you to make him Lord of your life. There are people who entered this year not knowing Jesus. It is a risk to live in the days that are before us without making Jesus Lord of your life. Our primary assignment in this ministry and in this place is to introduce men to him, to let you know. You see, it's called koinonia. It's the ministry of the spirit, but the goal and the intent is to, re to reveal Jesus. So you are in this place and you're saying, Apostle, please give me an opportunity. I truly want to make Jesus Lord of my life. I'm going to count one to five. Leave your seat. Run right here and... Give me the honor of leading you to his majesty, Jesus the Christ. Look at this, our beautiful baby. You're welcome, my dear. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Jesus loves children. Hallelujah. I'm counting one to five. You want to rededicate your life to Christ or you are not sure you are saved, you join them. Please, those who are coming from any of the overflows, let them come. Once the front is filled, they may have to stand in front of their screens. And this is also to you, those who are following online. Please, I want you to take the business of Jesus very seriously. This is beyond fanatism. This is not just proposing a religion. He calls you to a rich, a deeper relationship for many of you. But for many of you who do not know him, here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life intentionally and genuinely. I count one to five now. One, let's honor them as they come. Two. If you're coming, run, run, run to victory, run to grace, run to mercy, run to receive help, even in this time of need. Three, the moment I count five, I'll begin to pray. All those who are in the, uh, the overflows outside, you may just move to your screens. Jesus is for children, adults, young people, elderly ones. Everybody is welcome to have this experience with Jesus. Four, one final count and then I begin to pray. If you're still coming, here's your chance. Please rush so that when I begin to pray, you participate from beginning to end. There are people who just come and join. Amen. If you come out here and you say amen alone, you will pray again because you were not saved. You have to join the prayer. You are talking to God who is alive. You are not just chanting, reciting a poem. Amen does not save you need to make a complete declaration with understanding. May God bless you. Thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters, for coming to make this faith-filled declaration. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head. Say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. Right now, I receive Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken. I declare that from tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Father, thank you for these precious ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. You will go from glory to glory. 
you will go from grace to grace you walk as the righteousness of god in christ jesus for in jesus name we pray may i please request that you move to my right all of you this way to my right counselors will have a word very brief word with you and you're back to your seat hallelujah please rise on your feet may i request and then please stretch your hands towards the prayer requests thank you for your patience this is the price that it takes to experience the fullness stretch your hands and begin to make faith filled declarations you are starting this year already this is not a ritual to just drop requests that you keep dropping keep dropping keep dropping this is one of the clearest ways to be able to test the faithfulness of God in your life that you can say I wrote this and this is what God has done there is a God that answers prayers stretch your hands and pray I'll bow my knees in one minute and then I'm going to be agreeing with you in prayer and I'll speak over the request, speak over you and we're done tonight. Thank you, Jesus. You have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about All on by Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this request. I hope you are joining me to pray. I decree and I declare by the spirit of grace, you are the God that answers prayer. And Lord, this is a presentation of your people's desire. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare over this request. Supernatural answers now. Amen. Shout a believing amen. Supernatural answers now. Every death sentence here represented, we avert it now. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare over your people. For many, by this time next week, you return with strange testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every helper that must arise to see to it that these requests are answered. May my God cause them to arise for your sake. Every evil that must be averted. To represent an answer to this request may God make so happen in Jesus name Amen. I declare let fire rest upon this request Amen. for many of you you will not have to write this again Amen. I say it again you will not have to write this again Amen. you will not have to write this again Amen. you will not have to write this again Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. there are people here by next miracle service all your requests will be those for others because the Lord would have so answered you such that there will be nothing left again in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit I stand upon this request prophetically and I declare unto you that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever now lift your hands and receive in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon your life as I shout the prophetic words I want you to thunder a believing amen from January to December strange favor 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Everyone here who is in any financial calamity in the name of Jesus between now and the end of February you have the faith to believe this the helper that will arise for you may God provoke them to arise for you in the name of Jesus any aspect of your life that has refused to move forward you have tried and tried and it has refused to move forward by prophecy I push you go forward 
go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is dead or dying in your life could be your finances could be your spiritual life by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead let that situation and that aspect of your life jack back to life now hear me if there is anyone here I'm hearing addictions suffering from any kind of addiction an addiction is anything that has control over you that you do not have control over it and leads you out of the ways of God out of the will of God I break every addiction now shout a loud amen I break every addiction now all those trusting God for jobs by February miracle service in a place you did not expect if you have the faith to receive I decree and declare may my God give you strange jobs I understand that many people especially around this city have had a lot of constraints especially in the area of their finances from rent to transportation to whatever I have a duty under God to help your spiritual life but not at the expense of other aspects of your life therefore I decree and declare may help and mercy some of you someone will give you a place to stay and you will not pay one naira for it in the name of Jesus Christ everyone in business here in the name of Jesus provided is a legitimate business and glorifies God and adds value to people may my God support your growth may my God support your rising can I pray for your spiritual life it's too early to be struggling with your prayer life we are just in January it's too early to be struggling with fasting it's too early to be struggling with waking up in the night to pray it's too early to be struggling with your word life whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already I declare it must give way now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire for the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of God I caught you from them permanently in the name of Jesus now hear this and listen very carefully nobody will kidnap you receive this one oh nobody will kidnap you nor your family members nor your loved ones anywhere there will be trouble may your feet not go there I say it again if there will be danger and trouble may the angel of the Lord take you away from that place you will not enter a vehicle that will have accident you will not enter a plane that will crash but if you enter it will never crash your house and your loved ones will never be a target for attack will never be a target for enemies every spirit of fear now hear me I understand some of the things that are happening around the nation it's not unique to Nigeria several nations across the world are having to manage issues from security issues political issues and whatever it is let me charge you believers make up your mind that this year the spirit of fear will not have any hold in your life therefore I declare anyone here struggling and suffering from the spirit of fear be set free from it now in the name of Jesus finally the favor you have not experienced and the honor you have not experienced I stretch my hands let it rest on your head return from next week with strange testimonies for in Jesus mighty name we pray can you wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of gratitude and thanksgiving for the mighty things that he has done today the graces that have rested upon your head hallelujah
let me give you one instruction before you return back walk conscious of every prophetic word that has come on you don't drop it as you go out make sure you carry this favor was spoken over my life the word of the lord was spoken over my life walk conscious and wore it in the place of prayer if i were you i would go back and listen to this again as i prepare my heart to receive in the name of jesus christ amen let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forever amen surely god's goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless when jesus came to the world he walked with men and he became the light that shined among men you see jesus walked for some years after the temptation in the wilderness and as the spirit of the lord led him into the wilderness he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights you see when um the devil asked him or satan now to be precise he said that can't you turn this stone to bread jesus responded he said that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes out from the mouth of god you see after hearing this word today and these prayers to be precise we believe that uh, your life is being transformed and there's a conviction in your heart that god is doing a new thing in your life and as you've watched this today we believe and we are as we we are we are set that god will do great things in your life today so therefore if this is your first time connecting with us please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and if you have been part of us all these years we celebrate you thanks for staying tuned and also do so by clicking on the notification bell so that you can get daily upload of our videos daily and our team is set to bring you um, powerful prayers chants and worship and charge from the man of god hallelujah and also please comment if you have any um, conviction in your heart please comment in the comment section and do so by sharing to your loved ones because by doing so others too will be blessed through you by clicking on the share button hallelujah with love and celebrate you thank you